Here we have the initial screen of the SMI interface or smart motor interface. Um, as you can see in the screen on the right, I have the recording of the smart motor so that you can see what happens with the smart motor when you use the interface. What I'm going to be de demonstrating right now is the smart motor playground. So if you go to tools, click on tools, and then smart motor playground, it'll open up this little box. Um, the first thing you're going to do is click on the top right box for detect motors and that will start looking for the smart motor through your computer connection should only take a couple of seconds once it finds the smart motor click on yes you wish to continue it'll download the motor information and then you're ready to start using your smart motor um, the smart motor playground is just a little application just to make sure that everything's running correctly that your smart motor's fine as you can see on the right side with these bullet points, they'll tell you if there are any errors. Um, there shouldn't be any errors at the start if your smart motor is working properly. And even if there are, just press clear flags ZS and that will reset it so that anything that wasn't working properly will start working well. Um, at the top you have connect and disconnect. This is the basically on off switch for your smart motor. So as you can see right now it's online. If I press disconnect, it goes not connected, and then I don't have controls of the smart motor. Um, I just want to show a couple of tabs. The first one being position. Let's go ahead and press connect again if you press disconnect. With position, you could change the position of the smart motor, obviously, the velocity that it goes at, fast velocity. So right now, I'm just going to click on this tab and slide it over while holding it and you should see the smart motor on the opposite screen moving to the position that I set it at and then stopping at that position and there it goes back to the position you can also change the velocity at which it goes to the position I like to press fast jog so if I set it over to 1000, it will move as fast as possible until it gets to whatever position I set it at. You can also press the stop on release button so that when I release it, it will automatically stop. Um, if you want to set it back to the zero point, just click on zero. And then when you press go, it will automatically go back to the position that you want to set it at turn fast jog off. Again, it'll rotate counterclockwise or clockwise as slow or as fast as you want it. If I put the velocity at 200 and I don't have fast jog on, then I'll turn it 200 revolutions per minute in order to get to my set destination. Um, that's position. Just a little way to play around with it to see the exact positioning measurements this yellow box on the top left indicates the point at position at which it's at and this circle with the line going halfway through it shows where your smart motor is. The next one that I'm going to show is velocity. Again the same initial setup where you have the slide bar and you can adjust it up and down for however you want. If you adjust it up it'll go at the velocity that you set it at in the yellow is the revolutions per minute of the smart motor you could ramp it up as fast as you want this one has the max speed at a thousand rpm and also you go counterclockwise and you could see how fast the smart motor reacts to each one of the commands I'm sending it um, even if you want to do something faster than a thousand revolutions per minute, let's say I put in 1,600 revolutions per minute, and I want to accelerate at 20 revolutions per second squared, then my initial point right here around was 1,000, and I could actually go over the initial setting of 1,000 that it had preset all the way up to 1600 and you can see the smart motor spinning at 1600 don't set it too high you don't want to uh, break your smart motor right when you get it but 
again, this is just something to play around with to see how well your smart motor works, its little functionalities that it can do. Um, there's also the torque feature, the terminal feature, in which you can imitate writing commands. Example, G, go, and then it imitates writing a command. And then there's also motor info on the final tab, where it tells you everything about the smarter, smart motor from the model number to width, height, poles, encoder, winding resistance, everything like that. So that basically wraps it up for the Smart Motor Playground and initial setup of the Smart Motor. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the product.